In this video, I want to quickly go over the grinding stone. We get emails every single day, customers or viewers asking, what's that grinding stone that you sell on your site? What is it used for? Can you demonstrate? I thought let me make this quick video since I do not have a video for today. I have a grinding stone right here. It comes in a package like this and the stone is heavy. It has weight to it. All right. The stone has a lot of uses, but we mainly use it to straighten out tweezers. And it looks something like this. It has a groove in the center. The groove is used to align the tweezer and grind back and forth. Of course, you do not want to keep grinding back and forth because you're going to lose part of that tweezer. So let me demonstrate and show you how to properly use that grinding stone. And that's the groove I'm talking about. And I have grinded so many tweezers with this. I do have a tweezer here that's pretty bad and it looks something like this. Let's see how to use the stone to make this tweezer functional again. So the first thing I want to do is I do not want to start the grinding but I want to straighten the tips. I'm going to push that tip on the grinding stone like this and I'm going to do the same thing with the other end. Okay. Now we can start grinding slowly and we're going to grind this end here. We can do it sideways like this. Now what we can do is we can get one end of the tweezer under the stone and one over. It's hard to demonstrate under the microscope because we keep changing angles and we have to keep focusing the microscope. But let me see if I can do this in a way where I can show you what's going on. Now we're going to do the other end. And look at that. We just went back and forth a couple of times and look at the way the tweezer is looking now. The tweezer is not going to go back to being perfect like it came from the factory, but it's a usable tweezer now. You can use that tweezer. If I grab a motherboard, and let's say we want to grab that tiny component, we can grab it now. So the tweezer went from something that would have been thrown in the garbage to something that is very usable. Okay, It's a fine tip. I did not grind too much. Just went back and forth a couple of times. I mean, you can even grind some more if you want to, but there's no reason to. The tweezer is fully functional now, and that's the whole point of having a tweezer. You want to be able to grab components. Look at this. Maybe we can grind some more to make the tip even finer. We can go, we can do a few times like this. And then I'm going to tilt the grinding stone a bit and do the bottom also and maybe the sides and the other side and look at this look at how fine that tip is I did not even clean it let me dip my fine steel brush in alcohol and I can clean the tip like this And I can even polish that tip with my grinding pen. I never actually used the polishing tip before, but maybe we can try it. I do not have any polish in the shop here, but it would be nice to try. And let's do this side here. And just look at the precision on that tip. Look at the way it closes. 
very usable and you do not have to throw that tweezer away okay we can grab that component and grab that component and this i believe is size 402 do we have anything smaller on this hard drive board i do not think so maybe if we go for a nintendo switch motherboard and let's look at those tiny components here and look at this flip the board and those are very tiny components I just wanted to demonstrate how to use that tool and it's honestly priceless the thing is tweezers will drop tweezers will fall on the floor and tweezers will bend I used to throw away tweezers every time they fall down now I no longer have to just grind it and it's back like new we carry that grinding stone on our e-commerce site just log in to northridgefix.com search for grind grinding or stone and you should be able to find it and that's it we're gonna end the video right here i hope you enjoyed it let me know how you straighten or fix your tweezers don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll do something else in the next video